students now we are deriving a relation between critical angle and refractive index okay now this is a denser medium maybe water or glass this is a rarer medium maybe air or vacuum what is this surface of separation or interface this is the normal drawn to surface of separation a light ray is passing from denser medium into rarer medium okay now angle of incidence is equal to critical angle then what about refracted ray it grazes out the interface that means the light ray passes along the interface in such a case small r is equal to 90 degrees so how can you define critical angle when light ray passes from denser medium into rarer medium at a particular angle of incidence the refracted ray grazes out the interface that angle of incidence is called critical angle okay so when i is equal to c then angle r is equal to 90 degrees right now remember snell's law here you apply what is the first form of snell's law sin i by sin r is equal to constant okay what is its second form n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r that is its second form okay now n1 is the refractive index of the denser medium n2 is the refractive index of the rarer medium now here i am applying n1 sin what is i here angle i is equal to angle c so i substituted c is equal to n2 what is r angle r is equal to 90 degrees so n1 sin c is equal to n2 sin 90 simple substitution right bring n2 to lhs side so n1 by n2 is equal to send sin c to rhs side sin 90 by sin c n1 by n2 means n12 how can you read it refractive index of the first medium relative to second medium okay is equal to sin 90 is nothing but 1 so 1 by sin c this is the relation between refractive index and critical angle okay if n2 that is a rarer medium if this medium is air or vacuum then its refractive index is 1 in such a case take n2 as 1 then it will be n1 is equal to 1 by sin c or n is equal to 1 by sin c you need not write n1 you can write it as n so n is equal to 1 by sin c this is the relation between absolute refractive index and critical angle okay this is an important relation keep this relation in your mind now i explain you what is total internal reflection this is denser medium this is rarer medium it is surface of separation or interface this is normal drawn to interface the light ray is passing from denser medium into rarer medium here angle of incidence is more than critical angle the light ray does not enter into rarer medium it certainly reflects into the same medium this phenomenon is called total internal reflection so for total internal reflection there are two conditions condition number one what are the conditions for total internal reflection light ray should pass from denser medium into rarer medium that is the first condition what is the second condition angle of incidence should be greater than critical angle okay these two are the important conditions for total internal reflection to take place then what happens if these two conditions are fulfilled the light ray should not enter into rarer medium it is reflected into the same denser medium this phenomenon is called total internal reflection there are so many applications to total internal reflection the fire the formation of mirages 
uh, optical fibers uh, these are applications uh, brilliance of diamond all these are different applications for total internal reflection i shall explain those applications in the next class okay right